What's going on, YouTube? This is your friendly neighborhood DraftKings Attic, bringing my top picks for Friday's main NBA DFS slate. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get the homework out of the way. Please uh, like the video. Also, please drop any comments below on your favorite plays. We have a large slate today, so let me know who you love, who you hate. And if you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. And let's go ahead and get into today's picks, guys. So we have a massive 11-game slate that we need to break down. So uh, let's go ahead and get to it, guys. So at the top, you got James Harden, who's going to be very popular if Chris Paul is out again. But as you can see, versus San Antonio, he hasn't done well in the past, but his usage will go through the roof. As you can see, he had a bad game. He was 1 for 13 from three-pointer, okay? All right, so if you look at Harden, he's good for at least five or more uh, three-pointers in a game. So um, if Chris Paul is ruled out, I will have some James Harden. It's 11-game slate, so I'm going to be running my 20-plus lineups. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and share with you guys what's, what's the core plays I'm going to be building up from. So the guys that I show you are going to be the guys I'm going to have a lot of pieces of in my lineup so all right so um, at point guard let's go ahead and get to it so for me i'm gonna be going down i like ben simmons but his minutes are are, are pretty good but you know uh, i don't know if this game stays close versus washington if it, if it blows out like this game did he doesn't get a lot of run which means his upside is limited but this guy definitely has the ability to go off and put up a lot of DraftKings points so uh, with my core i'm able to kind of pick and choose on some of the guys I can pay up for because I'm pretty much my core is going to be my favorite value plays guys that I expect to get five to six times value or more and um then low price under 6k so um well most of them so uh, Ben Simmons is somebody that I do like on this slate guys just so we know that same thing with Mike Conley versus Brooklyn all right should be a pretty good game uh got a couple of people that could be out for uh Brooklyn so not Brooklyn I'm sorry for Memphis so He's definitely in play. This Doncic kid gets a, a matchup versus the Lakers. Last time they played, he played 28 minutes to put up 33 DraftKings points. And he's 7K now, so I don't know if I'm going to go there. But I'm going all the way down. This guy here has been on fire the last two games. All right. This Ryan kid is 4.4K. He's playing 35-plus minutes. He's playing all the minutes he can handle. Now he's finally putting up shots. Because if you look at it, he started off putting up 6, 7, now the last two games he's put up double digit shots so clearly he has a green light to put up some shots all right he has uh nine and six three-pointers attempted as well so i like him in this matchup versus detroit and if you look at the last time they played he played four, uh, 19 minutes and put up 15 DraftKings points so if this guy plays almost 35 40 minutes he should be able to get me almost 10x value easily so i do like this guy in this matchup at only 4.4K, so he's going to be one of my quote-unquote core plays. All right, so at shooting guard, um, again, got a lot of options here, guys. Zach Levine in that same game could be a good play, but he's 8.4K. Um, getting kind of uh, at the top of his price. Uh, uh, Devin Booker um, is been getting a lot of run um, and doing a lot of ball handling, so um, he could be somebody in this matchup versus Orlando. It should be a high-scoring game. Um, so Devin Booker is somebody that I will consider Holiday versus uh, Miami. Um, if that game is competitive, that should be a good game. He could uh, have some great uh, value when it comes to uh, putting up DraftKings points again. A lot of injuries at uh, point guard for uh, for that team. So um, I'm going down, of course. And so for me on uh, shooting guard, oh Ingram, I like Ingram as well. As well in this game versus Dallas is on the back to back, um, but he's actually kind of inconsistent. So um, I would def definitely probably play Kuzma before I play him, to be honest, because Kyle Kuzma has been playing about 30 plus minutes and he's a, he's a scorer. He's going to he's going to fill up the bucket and they're playing at home. So uh, but J.J. Burrell, he's my favorite play in this matchup. If you look at this guy, he's a point per minute monster. All right. He's putting up assists, um, getting rebounds, uh, steals. And so in this matchup versus the Lakers, uh, the Lakers are playing on the back to back. Dallas is coming to their their house, though. Um, I do like J.J. Barrera. If you look at his matchup that he played before 24 minutes and he put up 30 DraftKings points. All right, 15 points and 10 assists, so a double-double. And so if you look at the last game he played versus Houston, he played 18 minutes and put up almost 40 DraftKings points, guys. So J.J. Barrera is somebody that I do like. Uh, as you can see, his minutes is inconsistent, but his production is pretty good. So um, I like J.J. Barrera in this matchup at uh, only 5.3K. So at my small forward, um, 
got a lot of great options at small forward, but the one that I like the most, um, as of right now, recording this video, whoo, we got Magruder, Holiday, so I'm, I'm gonna go with Jay Holiday right here, man. So I don't know what it is about the Chicago team, but I like them for value. Uh, they don't have a lot of options, but they've been kind of hanging around with teams, as you can see, and um, they got the same three or four guys producing for them. So if you look at Justin Holiday's splits versus Detroit, they had one game that they played um, 37 minutes. He put up 35 DraftKings points, and the guy that's 5.4K that's playing pretty much 40 minutes a game, putting up double-digit shots. I like his chances of, of, of making value um, at his price point in this matchup. He's going to play. He's going to take shots. Question is, is it going to be a 56-point night for him or a 25-point night? So I like those odds. So give me some uh, Justin Holiday at 5.4K. All right, so next up, uh, another guy that I like, Power Forward. is a good value play in my opinion. Um, if, if you guys uh, follow me on Twitter, You'll see that uh, there's a lot of news that comes out. And um, right now, Dwight Howard, from my understanding, is uh, going to require surgery for his uh, his butt issue. But, um, yeah, so um, power forward Morris is going to be getting a lot of run uh, playing power forward slash center. As you can see in the last game versus New Orleans, he played 32 minutes and put up 36 DraftKings points, 41 the game before that versus Houston and put up 43 and his matchup versus Philly should be pretty competitive. At least I hope so. So that way Embiid and uh, Simmons and some other people can uh, can eat. So I do like this guy at 5.5K. He's going to be playing a lot of minutes. They're going to need him on the floor for rebounding and doing some other things around the, uh, the basket. So give me some uh, Morris at 5.5K. All right, so the first person I'm going to be paying them for, guys, on this slate. Woo, we got Nurkic versus Denver. That could be a good one there if he doesn't have any issues with his shoulder. All right, so that could be a good one. Last game, he put up 43 DraftKings points, man. A nice double-double, 16 and 13. Um, but I like Joel Embiid, man. Just let me go ahead and just get to it. Joel Embiid is in a monster matchup again. Dwight Howard is out. The Brian Kidd that's playing for Washington, he's not going to be able to stop Embiid. So at 10.9K, yes, on 11-game slate. I got to pay for Embiid, though, man. Because if this game stays close and Washington is able to keep the game competitive, this could be a 260 over and under game, man. Matter of fact, what's the over and under right now projected for this game? So, 235. And it's a seven point advantage for Philly. So, if this game stays close, I like Embiid. He's going to be a monster. He's going to do pretty much whatever he wants. Give me some Joel Embiid at center. So some of my other plays at center, guys, just to kind of give you some ideas. I like Vucevic. All right, he's going, he's going up against Phoenix. Again, this guy is another point per minute monster. 71, 57, and 45 in his last three games. Now, his price did rise because he gets a uh, matchup versus Phoenix. But I do like Vucevic um, today. Anthony Davis is always in play. Um, if you look at his history versus Miami, he almost scored 100 points on Miami one time. <laughs> So um, this could be a matchup where you play Anthony Davis, but I'm pretty much over AD at this point, unless it's a slate where there's limited options to pay up for. Um, I do like Blake Griffin on this slate. All right, he's at home, 9.6K is kind of pricey, but it's a plus matchup versus Chicago. And like I said, Chicago has been hanging around with teams lately. If you look at the last time these two teams met, Blake put up 61 DraftKings points, so he's somebody that I'm definitely going to have a few shares of. Maybe not a whole, whole lot, but just a few. LaMarcus Aldridge versus Houston. I do like him as well at only 8K. He gets a plus matchup versus Houston. That's a little shorthanded right now. Yes, he's coming off a terrible game versus Minnesota. All righty, but he's at home versus a... This is the ITN rivalry, guys. So if you're not from Texas, these teams pretty much stay down the street from each other. And it's going to be a knockdown, drag-out fight. And I will have me some LaMarcus Aldridge because... My Rockets has some problems right now, guys. You know, we can't win the game. So, um, next up, um, another guy, definitely Compella in this matchup. Uh, if you look at uh, San Antonio, um, they don't have a lot of options at the center spot. So, I do like uh, Capella as well, especially if uh, Chris Paul is out. Who else? Oh, Baines. You definitely have to get you some, um, some Baines. All right. So, Horford, as you can see, has already been ruled out. All right, he will not play in Friday's game due to rest. 
So he's going to be resting. So that means that the bigs for Boston are going to be great values on this slate and probably going to be chalk, which means if you're playing cash games, you're probably going to have to have this guy right here, Aaron Baines. He's probably going to be the most popular value center on the slate. And as you can see, 20 minutes, 17, 23. Whew, he's a little inconsistent, but he gets a favorable matchup versus Cleveland. All right, at home on the 3.2K. Doesn't have to do much to uh, to make value. So definitely get you some Aaron Baines. All righty, so that's pretty much all my favorite plays, guys. So um, good luck on tomorrow's slate. Again, it's 11 game slate. There's a lot of ways you can go. Please don't forget to drop your comments below. Let me know who you love. Let me know who you hate. All right, guys. So as you can see right here, these are my favorite plays. Pretty much I'm starting all my lineups with this this particular core plays. So RC Cindy Nikonen, however you say his name, JJ Barrera, Justin Holiday, Markeith Morris, Joel Embiid, and Aaron Baines. So if you don't want to pay up for Embiid, you can go ahead and put him put Baines in your center. All right. And then you could pay up for whoever you like at that point, right? So let's say you want to be uh you want James Harden or you want Westbrook. Let's say you want James Harden. So you put in Harden, that still leaves you 7K for your other spots. So, um, or, you know, who knows? You want to play, I don't know, Dame Litter. So long story short, you can play whoever you want. Or you can play Ben Simmons in this spot, and you still got AK left for the last three spots. So um, good luck on tomorrow's slate, guys, and I'll hot you guys tomorrow.